Easter basket out of a milk jug. Oh, out of milk. Draw the lines first. Where you want your handles to be. I cut off um, where the cap goes, so basically like this, on both sides. I left the two strips and they don't have the lid on it, the cap anymore. And I put cottons right here on the edge so the kid don't slice their fingers. I use the cosmetic cosmetic cotton squares because I couldn't find my cotton balls and these I just stapled them on there for better hold and then we're going to staple the handle I just use the Elmer school glue. I got mess. And then these will just stick on there like that. Okay, so go ahead and put a couple on there and then I'll let your sister put some on there. Okay. Wait, Wait. baby. Okay. We just finished. Um, gluing all the rest of the cotton squares on there so this is what it looks like up close I stapled it now um, you don't have to but I think it looks cute like the whole thing's a bunny but I like this ribbon I found has little jelly beans on it and it's colorful. So I'm gonna put it on here. Okay. Measure it. Cut it. Okay. See if I should double it and maybe it'll look darker. A little bit nicer. Yeah. Remember, you don't have to put um, ribbon. I'm just doing it because I happen to find some. Of this is from last Easter. Staple it so it doesn't go anywhere. But I do not want one hanging off longer than the other because it's going to bug me. Staple it onto your basket. I folded, I fold the um, end so it can look more, you know, just nicer tucked in instead of just like unraveling at the end. So I'm gonna staple each side. this up for her little eggs. I don't want her to poke her fingers with these staples. Okay. There, 
just the handle. And now, see what part will make this part the face. Make this part the face. So, I have two options. I can either get one of these cutouts because it happens to be pink. I can cut a nose out of it, like a little triangle nose right here, or I can use some of this pink tissue. Which I think I'm going to use a pink tissue because it looks, looks more cool than that other pink. It's a little bit plain, the other pink. So, we just cut a small square. so big so I can I want to cut more off I can and I'm gonna double them up so it's darker because paper is very see-through now I'm gonna cut off the rest of that black so we don't see it about some right there yeah I think that'll look cute so I just I had cut one of these earlier it has like five little little things on it and then I cut three off and I had this one that had two left I was stapling inside so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this one and do it so you can see Put some glue. There we go. Okay. So like that. Okay, so I don't have any white paper, so the next best thing is going to be paper plates. I'm going to draw the eyes and then cut them out and then draw the ears and then cut them out also. So. And the ears, I don't have bunny ears. Are they pointed around? I think they make them both ways. Let me draw them. I'm going to make them with a little bit of a point. So here's the eyes and the ear. I cut out the ears and cut out one on each plate. And then I cut out two eyes. And then I drew black the eyeballs because I don't have googly eyes. I wish I did because they're cuter. They actually move. So I'm going to glue the back of the eyes, stick them wherever you feel like you want them to go. They can be very close, a goofy bunny or further apart. I think mine are going to be further apart. And then I, after I cut off the ears, this, this is what they look like. Where I got this from was um, the one we used before from the nose tissue paper. I cut off a small square, about this big, and then I put the ends, folded the ends together, and then I got the ear. And the black parts on this, this is the part I drew on. Put that in the back. So it's more clean. And 
snare a little bit here right there. And then squish this up. It's a little, a little ball. Unwrap it. Then two ears and we're going to put them like this. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to try to staple them. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Okay. Yay. There goes one. There's one ear thing. We're almost done and all we need is one more ear. See if I could do it facing you. See so that looks good. Yep. That's my body. Mm -hmm. To a little, little half moon. We have Disney, Disney radio on. You're wondering how all these cartoons are being played at once. are going to look cute. Why don't you look at that one and make a tongue? And then we'll put that back. What do we need? Maybe I should do this a piece of this one so it'll be a different type of pink. We can cut the bunny's tail off. Mm -hmm. Then he'll cry. Say what? What would you say? And then he'll say, hey, where's my bunny tail? Oh, see? Looks like he has a little, little tongue hanging out. Looks cute. Yeah. So the reason why I was posting this video is because my daughter's in Head Start and her teacher had something like this in her class. I wish I had it, uh, made it as good as the one she had in her class because it was really cute. They made um the ears and the whiskers out of... um. They're called pipe cleaners, I think, and they're, they're colorful. They have a bunch of different colors. And um, we had to make one for them. We couldn't buy one. They said we had to make one, but I thought it was just too cute, and I had to share it with you guys. So they looked on YouTube, and they have one kind of like this, but I didn't think it was anywhere near as cute as the one I seen. So I had to make one. And they're really fun. The kids like making it. We're going to make another one. They didn't really get to help too much on this one because I wanted to make the video for you guys. And that's about it. So there's your little homemade Easter basket bunny. 
made out of a jug of milk and some cotton squares. You can use cotton balls. I thought cotton balls look really cute too. This just happened to be all I could find in my house. And then just a bunch of simple stuff, just paper plates, tissue paper, leftover ribbon from last Easter, and staples, glue. Simple, really simple. So yeah, that's about it. That's all I wanted to show you guys because I thought it was just too cute. This is the best video ever, isn't it, folks? How did you bake the eyes? Out of paper plates. But how did you bake the black? With a marker. And how did you uh, bake the others?